morning, everybody. It's Anna. Time for the Wednesday card in this week's tarot story. Today we have the Ten of Wands reversed. So the 10 is the final number in a 10 card trajectory, which the tarot is based on. So it's about crossing the finish line. Wands are connected to the element of fires. So they're about feeling impassioned and inspired and vigorous and confident, right? So this image shows a man carrying his harvest to the village. So he has, he has achieved his goal. He's, he's followed his passion and, and here's the, the manifestation of his, of the blessings he's created. And now the world is being blessed by them. So it's a very positive card and actually is a, is a moment where um, what has been our private journey becomes a public blessing, which is the story of the spiritual journey. You know, a lot of people who are creative intuitives, the journey is very internal in a lot of ways. Like you're, you're doing something that you have to follow your own instinct, your own voice, and you can't always receive support from other people. At least you can't receive advice from them because they don't really know what you're doing. So it's easy to think that we're alone on this journey. But the truth is, Everything we do is is serving the whole, even if it, it's an individual journey for a while. It's like the river. The river's on its own journey, but it comes back to the ocean. This is the moment where the river joins the ocean and everything expansion is experienced everywhere. My only challenge with this card is that the guy's been over. He looks like he's exhausted, like he has just poured himself out for this victory. Um, so when this card shows up reversed, I kind of like it better um, because I think of the reversal as the accomplishment of what we're trying to do, but without that exhaustion. And I think this connects to yesterday's card, the Queen of Swords reversed. I talked about how the reversal of the Queen of Swords might suggest that we are being overly judging of ourselves. Like we're looking at ourselves like a problem to be solved. We got to keep working at it, keep rooting out our, our dysfunction and all the bad things about ourselves, which is a very heavy task because it's a judging task. It's saying you are not good enough as you are. You're not lovable as you are. You have to be adjusted to be made more lovable. And that's a painful thing, actually. I mean, we say it so many times to ourselves, we don't recognize how like painful it is. That's really painful. It's very heavy to be told you're not lovable as you are. Um, so, um, so that increases the feeling if we have to work hard to make valuable things because you're not that good at things, right? You're not that good a person. So if you want to do something admirable or, or, or valuable, you have to really work hard at it. And that's, I think, one of the possible traps of the wands trajectory is that it's a very high flying trajectory. It's very dynamic, very, very high momentum, but we can think that, um, it's going to be difficult. It requires us to pour everything out into it, to basically sacrifice ourselves to this goal. And I would say the reversal here says no. Um, you know, when you're following your passion, it it is a lot of energy. You are investing a lot, but it's in flow. It's a flowing energy that it's coming. The source of the flow is actually from the universe. So as long as you relax into that flow, you're going to be you're going to be supported in this journey. You're going to be deeply engaged, but also deeply relaxed in in your own way. So um so this reversal suggests um releasing the idea that it has to be exhausting. It has to be like gravity is working against you, and you have to push against gravity. Um. So I think that when you when we we kind of solve the problem of the Queen of Swords reverse, which tells us we are not good enough, and we say that's not true, we are functional, we are lovable, um, then we begin to agree more to the idea that we can do things that the universe is working for us, is supporting us, and and is on our side and, and wants to give us um, the energy and the flow that makes this a fun journey, that makes it worthwhile, that makes it a blessing for us and for the world around us. So it's a challenge to the mindset of no pain, no gain, or, you know, valuable things come from hard effort and blood, sweat, and tears. I'm not saying that's a necessarily a problematic mindset if it feels good to you, but this card, I mean, it doesn't feel good. Like he doesn't like, he feels good. So I don't like, I don't like blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> I like to feel like there's flow and there's ease. So that's where I think this card, this card's inviting us to shift into that mentality. So see you tomorrow for our next card. Bye.